Hi, I'm Matt from JNM Electrobikes, and in today's spec talk, we're going to be going over the Super Soco TC and TSX. So the Super Soco TC and TSX are 50cc equivalent electric motorbikes. They're sold as mopeds, so restricted to a top speed of 28 miles an hour. And there are a couple of advantages to doing that. If you are a 16 year old with a provisional license, it means that you can get your CBT and ride both of these bikes at the age of 16. There's also the advantage of if you have your driving license uh, before the 1st of February 2001, you can drive either one of these motorbikes on your current license without having to do a CBT and without having to wear L plates. So out of the box, these are restricted to a top speed of 28 miles per hour. However, if you are over the age of 17 and you've got a CBT that allows you to run up to a, a 125cc equivalent electric motorbike, you can de-restrict these to get a top speed of around 40 miles per hour. So similar to all of the Super Soco motorbikes, there are three driving modes. Um, and essentially what that allows you to do is to maximize your range. So with a single battery, um, as these are purchased, you'll get around 40 miles of range in mode one. You can option a second battery, which allows you to get up to 80 miles. And of course, as you go up through the drive modes, your speed will increase, but your range will decrease. So these are designed inherently to be town and city commuter bikes. If you're going from within a town to another part of that town, these are absolutely perfect for nipping through the town and city traffic. But 1.9 meters in length, uh, they're not massive, which is actually a benefit for cutting out through the traffic and being nice and manoeuvrable. Um, they're extremely skinny as well, so um, getting down in between cars and traffic in the daily rush hour is absolutely perfect on these. And because they're fully electric, they have uh, no tax to pay. Um, so along with your reduced fuel costs, you actually have um, no tax to pay on the electric motorbike. Um, and because of the electric drivetrain, all of your maintenance costs are actually massively reduced as well. Um, the Super Soco TC and TSX have a rear hub motor, so there's no belt to worry about, there's no cooling system, um, there's no complex internal combustion engine. So let's talk about the drivetrain. These are Super Soco electric motorbikes, of course the drivetrain is fully electric. You have a 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery uh, that lives under here that is removable. As said before, you can option a second battery. Um, essentially what that means is you, you can unplug your first battery once it's depleted and then plug in your second battery to give you the extra 40 miles of range. So the battery is then connected directly to a rear hub motor, which is 1.5 kilowatts of nominal power uh, and up to 1.9 kilowatts of peak power. Um, and as stated, is around 150 newton meters of torque. So you've got your three drive modes. So in mode one, your top speed is reduced even further from the 28 miles per hour top speed. Um, and in mode one, which is essentially your eco mode, that is where you're gonna get your full 40 or 80 miles of range, depending on whether you have one or two batteries. Going up to mode two is gonna pull your range down ever so slightly, um, give you a little bit more top speed. And then mode three gives you the full restricted 28 miles per hour. Um, and that's of course you're de-restricted if you're 17 or over and running on a CBT. So that's going to reduce your, your range down to probably a real world of about 30 miles for each battery. Um, and even further if you are de-restricted running up to 40 miles an hour. So the TC has a front drilled disc brake and a solid rear disc brake. Whereas the TSX has drilled disc brakes front and rear. You have a hydraulic braking system with braided brake lines and more of a traditional bicycle style setup with your handles, so the rear brake on the left, front brake on the right. But both these bikes have a combined brake system, which essentially means that when you apply your rear brake, you get a bit of front brake involved as well. Um, that's just to combat the fact that it doesn't have ABS systems. In terms of suspension, you've got an upside down hydraulic front fork with a rear monoshock, which is adjustable. So if you want to firm up your ride slightly um, or raise your ride height, you do have the options to do that. So going into a bit more detail about the controls, 
On the right hand side you have a twist and go throttle. Um, no gears to worry about on the TC or TSX. You also have your three drive mode select button, um, going from mode one on the right hand side all the way up to mode three. Um, just beneath that you have your throttle cutoff switch. So if you're sat in traffic with your kickstand up and you want to disengage your throttle, you can press that button and no matter what you do to the throttle, it's not going to make the bike go anywhere. You then have to repress that to engage it um, ready to go. On the left hand side, you have your indicator switches, which is a push to cancel to the center. You have your horn and you also have your dipped and full beam headlight switch. One of the biggest benefits of having such a simple control system is the fact that it's very unintimidating to use. So if you're completely new to motorbikes, it's not something you've ever done before, then jumping on one of these bikes is extremely easy. It's twist and go on the throttle, so you don't have to worry about any gears. You've got your brakes on your handlebars, so trying to get used to a foot brake isn't something that you have to worry about. And because it's so light and easy to maneuver, uh, these really are a fantastic first time bike. In terms of charging these bikes, you've got two options. You can charge via the charge port on the side of the bike here, um, and then the charger just plugs into a standard three pin plug. Or you can remove your battery and take it into your home to charge overnight, or even into the office during the day while you're working, so you'll get a full charge by the time it's time to go home. So both these bikes come with a 10 amp charger. That means that for a single battery, you're looking at a charge time of between three and a half and four hours. Um, the way that the charging works is there's a ramp up between zero and 20% and a ramp down from 80% to 100%, meaning that you get your full charge capacity uh, between 20 and 80%. So if that's where you're charging the majority of the time, then you'll see your charge times are much more reduced from the four hours. So finally, let's just touch on the difference between the two bikes and the options within each one. So the Super Soco TC is much more of your classic cafe racer style, whereas the TSX is more of a naked sports bike. Now, the differences between those and which one you would choose is purely down to your own opinion as to which one looks best or which one rides better. Um, the TSX has a slightly more sporty feel because of the raked seat, um, whereas the TSX is a little bit more and uh, cruiser like. So with the TC you do have a few colour options. Um, it can come in blue, black, green or cream. Um, and the TSX you can get in silver, grey, red or orange. So both the TC and TSX can be purchased from £2,999. That already includes the government OLED grant. You then have your additional extras, so if you wanted to change the seat, add a rear frame, and rear box, or headlight protection from screen, um, those come at additional costs on top of that. So I hope that's been informative, um, and now you know a little bit more about the Super Soco TSX and TC. If you'd like to know anything more, then please get in contact with us at info at electrobikes.life or you can visit our website, which is www.electrobikes.life to find out any more information about these bikes.